helping with classroom supplies. Aid for Educators is a charity that allows you to pay for their school supplies and their projects, and I know they appreciate it. Greg Mayer is the executive director and joins us with more. Hey, Greg. Hi, how are you? Oh, I'm excited to talk with you because I know teachers are eager to get the word out. I'm sure they really like that help. Now, you started this charity in 2013. Tell us more about Aid for Educators. Well, Aid for Educators, uh, I found out that most teachers, over 90%, spend their own money for their supplies. And I know that because my wife's been teaching for 38 years. And I know a lot of teachers. So when I retired, I wanted to give back and so I thought, what a nice thing to do or try to do to teachers to maybe help them a little bit and and give them, uh, mainly what I give them is gift cards from Office Max or um, Staples. And so they can go out and buy what they need. It is a very nice gesture and I'm glad it's almost been 10 years now. You said 2013 and you know, this is your busy time of the year. What kind of increase have you seen from teachers asking for help since COVID-19? Well, since COVID-19, I probably, it's around 35 to 40% more applications. And of course, I try to fill all, all I can based on the funds we have. And uh, so it's, it's been an increase and I've been busy. I have no doubt about that. What are teachers in need of most right now? Well, it's always they're going to need the basic supplies. And most of the teacher requests are from elementary school teachers. And so you're talking about basic stuff, but they also are adding uh, COVID-19 sort of, sort of, say cleaning supplies, uh, hand sanitizers, and anything else they can they can do, you know, to help their class and students. Yeah, it's definitely a different need right now. And you know, you've donated almost forty thousand dollars to teachers. We're about to look at some photos of uh, you giving those those gifts. And oh, actually, the kiddos. Look at that. What kind of reactions have you had over the years? Well, from that particular class, uh, they really sparked me to keep going and and, and don't give up. Uh, they're from a lower uh, income school district. And this was about five years ago and they needed, they wanted tablets. So I sent them uh, tablets and uh, the teacher sent me a nice, nice letter back, how much she appreciated and how she's using it. And on top of her letter, I got a letter from each of the kids uh, telling me how much they appreciated and some drawings. That's really sweet. I'm sure that meant a lot to you. Now, is it too late to apply for this year? No, it's never too late. Uh, I take applications all year round, and usually I'll start donating. Uh, I'll start giving it's this first of the school year, and then after uh, after the, the new year, around January. Okay, now what's the biggest way that viewers can help you in all of your efforts? As I've seen this year, you've had a, a bigger increase in demand. Well, it's all, you know, donations. Uh, on Thursday, next Thursday, the 17th, is a big fundraiser, North Texas Giving Day. My friend, I think the station helped with coffee cups. Greg, my friend, showed one of our coffee cups. And we do pretty well there. Uh, we have fundraisers, but mainly it's donations. And uh, we have a, a, a um, private foundation that helps. I see, and we also have the website up right now. It is aid4edu.org for more information if you'd like to donate or for teachers that would like to apply. So, Greg, thank you for doing what you're doing. Uh, I know those teachers really, really love you for it. Thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Have a